So in this video what I want to do is show you how to process orders. So when you get an order in the system you're going to get an email notification for that order and it's going to list what's in the order and how much the order was and who it's from. In the system here, let's go ahead and come into the administrative interface. And so that's the e-commerce e portion of the system and there are two menu items for that. One is for WooCommerce which is the main WooCommerce system and it lists your orders, coupons, invoices, reports and such. And then over here is the products and these are where all the products are. Product categories, you can add a new product or take a look at the products that are in there and edit them right now. But I want to go ahead and deal with orders and that's under the main WooCommerce right here. And you'll see over here under orders I have a notification that there's one order pending. So I'm going to go ahead and click on orders and that's going to take me into the screen here. And you say, okay, so here is the number and name of the order. It was put in four minutes ago, and here we can take a look at preview. Right here, the order is processing. Let's go ahead and click on this, and that'll go ahead and take us into the order itself. And this is the main order screen right here. So here we have the details of the order, when it was created, and the order status is processing. Who the customer was, you'll see this actually says that it was me, um, uh, Paycycle Land Ministries, because I, I put this in um, under my administrative account. Here you've got your billing and shipping address and addresses, and here it is when the customer provide notes, and you'll see this says this is a test order, do not process. Always remember to take a look at the customer provided notes, which is right below the shipping app. The email and phone is right below the billing, but right below the shipping address is where the customer notes are. This may be blank most of the time, but if the customer does put any notes in, it's going to show up right there. And you'll see this right here is the order notes. It says order status change from uh, payment to processing. This was a zero balance. I used a coupon to zero everything out for a test order. If this had been actually from PayPal, you would have also had a notification here denoting that, um, that the payment was successful on PayPal and also giving you a number from PayPal, which is kind of like the authorization number that you get with a, with, a, with a credit card transaction. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, you get a transaction ID in there along with that. So that's what you would see there and if the, the payment was successful then the status will be processing. If the status is anything else, if you see the status as on hold, canceled, or failed, then that means that, that the payment did not go through. So do not put that order through. But if the order status is processing, um, that means that the payment went through, the payment was received, and you can go ahead and fill that order. And so down here, you'll see the items that were, um, that were sold, and then the shipping. Then you'll see the order total, and you'll see here we used a coupon of test. Um, and this, I, this, this, normally you would be able to refund, but this is not refundable because it was a, a zero balance. So the other thing you want to do is if you want to add your own notes, you can add notes here. And if you make it a private note, it will not send the note to the customer. But if you click this and you click note to customer, you can add a note here and then click add and an email will be automatically generated by the system and sent out to the customer with whatever that note is. But if you leave it on private note and you put a note in here and you click add, the note, there won't be any notification for that note, but it will add the note in here. So if you have a private note that you need to put in here but you don't want the customer to see, just put private note. But if you have one that you want the customer to actually see, you want it to be emailed to the customer, then select note to customer and click add and it will go ahead and, and, and send, it will go ahead and add that note here, as well as send out a notification to the customer for that. And the other thing that you're going to be interested in here is the PDF invoices and the PDF packing slips. More than likely, you probably won't need to use the invoice feature um, that much. Um, when you click on it, it generates a PDF um, of the invoice for the person showing the amount and everything, as well as uh, their address and everything. Here's the packing slip that you'll want to go ahead and print out to go ahead and put in when you pack an item. And as you can see here, it just has the necessary information for packing, but doesn't include any of the cost or anything like that, which is normally what you see when you see a packing. 
sales slip. So customer notes, product quantity, and then just a quick information here necessary for packing. What was the shipping method, the order date, the order number, and the address that it's supposed to go to. Very, very simple. That's what a packing slip is. And you can just go ahead and easily use the print icon right up here to go ahead and print that out and then go ahead and place it in with the item. Once you've done all of that and you've got everything ready for shipping, you've added any notes if you need to, you've printed out your packing slip, you're all ready to go, what you want to do is you want to come over here and change the status from processing to completed. That's all you have to do. You take it to completed and then all you do is click update. Now that order's been completed it's marked in the system now is completed and an email has gone out to the customer letting them know your order is no longer processing your order has been completed and we're shipping it out so that's what that does now if you have a tracking number and you want to let your customer know about that tracking number you can easily come in here now and still even though the order has been completed you can add a tracking number and you can click note to customer and click add and it will go ahead and send out that tracking number to the customer. You can say your order has been shipped, comma, your tracking number is, and then go ahead and send that out. But just be sure to change it when you do that. Just be sure to change that from private note to note to customer. Because if you don't, it will go ahead and register the note in the system, but it will not send it out unless you have note to customer selected right there. So uh, once that's done and you've completed the order, you can come back over here and you can see now our order has been marked as completed. So um, that is how you go ahead and view and process orders in the system. In uh, the next section, we're going to go over um, the different pages of the system and how to edit pages.